67 times, and then you have the intensity of the type of laser that was being used in these incidents. And that, you can understand, is why federal authorities and the state police are taking these cases very seriously. You're looking at one of the greatest threats to the safety of the 800 million passengers who fly every year on airlines in the U.S. Actually, there are two dangers you're looking at. The first, see how far that laser beam is coming from, miles away. People should know how to use them and, and know that they can reach that far and they can have an impact on people's vision. She's a passenger who just gotten off a flight from India, and the second big danger, look at the color of the beam. Green lasers, as opposed to the more common red ones, are intense. Look at what they're capable of doing up close. They're also more visible and more harmful to the human eye. In fact, a pilot is now reporting blurred vision after being one of at least two dozen flight crew members whose cockpits were flashed by green lasers over New Jersey last night. What in the world were you thinking with all those people up there on the plane that everybody here is waiting for? Crazy. If a green laser was used to blind a pilot used by a terrorist, a criminal, or even a prankster, and the plane crashed with hundreds on board. Praise God that has not yet happened, but it could. New York's senior senator spoke of the potential worst case scenario. The chance of it happening increases with the greater frequency of laser flashing incidents. Last night was the worst so far. Three American Airlines planes, a Delta flight, two jet blue planes, and one plane each from Porter, Republic, Shuttle America, and United Airlines, as well as one other undisclosed aircraft, were all hit, some more than once, by a laser beam from a point south of Newark Liberty as the planes flew into the airport or over it. It's kind of stupid, but dangerous. I mean, I wouldn't really be safe if you were landing then. I, if someone's shining a laser in your eye, I mean, I wouldn't want to be on that plane. And late this afternoon, the FAA added another plane to that list, a GoJet Airlines plane, also flashed by a laser last night. And that undisclosed aircraft turns out it was a Coast Guard flight. This is very serious stuff. Right now, a California man is serving a 14-year prison sentence for shining a laser into an aircraft. And a man from the Bronx awaits a similar sentence when he is...